Welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. Over the past few episodes, we have been trying to get our way across the ocean. It's been a little bit more difficult than we probably would have thought, because the Porter's Guild, the ship that they have, isn't capable of doing it. So after we went through all the effort of repairing the ship and doing all of that, it wouldn't get us there. So then we had to go find out about this legendary mariner individual, who told us about the black ship, how it comes from the other side of the ocean, and we gotta get on board somehow. So what we did was we took the Porter's Guild ship and crashed into the back of it, or into the side of it, or whatever. And that's how we got on to where we are now. Now we have to find our way to the bridge of this ship to change its course, because it seems to be just meandering around. We don't know what it's really doing. But we want to go back to its home port, so that's what we're doing now. Now you, now you can tell by the enemies the battle has just gone through that the enemies you're going to be facing in the side of the black ship are pretty much the same kind of enemies we've been facing before aboard the freighter that had beached itself on um, the uh, junk beach or whatever it's called. That being said, I would recommend you bring Nina along into your battle party, even though as much as I previously said it's not really a good idea to have Nina around. And I mostly stick to that, but in this case it's actually a good idea because her ability to use lightning attacks is really good against the types of enemies that you're going to face around here. And few of the other characters are capable of that kind of thing. Uh, Re would be a good choice as well. You're also going to want to bring Momo because she's the one that can operate all of the machines and stuff, even though it's not really necessary for your original trek through the ship. Also, you're not going to have too big of a problem bringing Nina along because there are no bosses to worry about. Now you can see right here, what we're doing here is setting the program up to move the platform in whatever case, like left, right, up, down, you know, down, forward, and it moves around. So you use this to move the platform to the different positions so you can get at the different goodies that are all over the place. Now down here we're going to find, oh, look at this. You're going to want to have the main crane switch on. Now you can shut it off if you want, but no, no. <laughs> have it on. Sleepy. Remember, this is the kind of enemy you faced back in the uh, that craggy area next to the cliff town, you know, when we were going for Guardian Gas. Not too hard. It may give you some trouble if you have Nina in the group, but overall it's still a good idea to bring her. I didn't now, because I'm trying to spread out the experience points to characters I don't, haven't used really that much often, and she's a little bit of a higher level than either Pika or Momo. Okay. Down to level 5 will bring us somewhere new. Different directions, of course. Every time you stop, it's going to eject you off the platform, and then you have to step back onto it. So there can be a bit of an irritation. Why are you making me go through all of this over and over and over again? Now, in this door is where you're actually going to need to go. Go up to this little card reader here, and pull the ID card out. Now, once you have this ID card, you can actually leave. You can't go through this door or anything, you have to go back the way you came. But you get back on the platform and you can leave. Because you don't actually need to do anything else here. I'm going to do uh, a little bit more because just to see what's in all these other rooms here, but you don't need to. Mm, look at this place. Can't get down though. What a shame. Nope, nothing you can do. Seems like this is just viewing for what you might do later. Hmm. Makes me wonder who built this ship. T 
tell you the truth, is actually not something... I'm not really ruining too much for you by saying this, but it's not something that ever really gets revealed. I mean, you do find out where all the machines come from, but it's not really revealed who assembled these things and who's using them or who's doing whatever, you know. And why is the ship abandoned? Now, up through this door... This, you had an option of going here first, but the crane may not have worked. So, just push the button down once to move it along this axis, and you press it again to move it to the other axis. What you want to do is go grab these boxes, and the crane will take them over and use them as a walkway. Now you're going to need to pull out three of these boxes in order to get all the way across. There's one. Now you can screw this up. Check this out. You push it, but you miss your mark. It went too far. So then you might as well just... It's not going to pick up any of the boxes. You might as well just give it up and let it reach down and grab air. Let's do it right this time. You know, I was never really good at those claw games you see at the carnival and stuff. Where it reaches down and grabs like a stuffed animal or something. I could never do that. It seems like the biggest scam in the world to me. I guess I'm getting practiced for this game, though, though. Bam! Okay, we need one more. Okay, let's get the one all the way in the back. It's all the way back here. Now, it's not... the X isn't on the box we're looking at. But it will reach down and grab it. So don't worry about that. This is probably the hardest one to get, because you can't see it from where you start. And now we can get across. But, let's go and do this one more time. Right all the way down to the end here, and get this last box here. Now, what's it going to do with that last box? Because the bridge is already complete. Where is it going to drop it? And what's the purpose of doing this? Well, you'll find out. Let's go check out what we got. What is it? Wisdom Fruit! Remember, that restores 100 AP to any of your characters. They're kind of rare, so it's a good idea to pick them up when you can. You can really save your life in a boss battle. Now we have this box over here we can collect. Flash shells. Now that's a good item for Momo. Ooh, look at that damage. It also induces blindness. So if you actually manage to hit an enemy, which Momo's a little screwy with her aim, you may blind them and, well, what do you know, an added little effect. Now that we've gone through there, we can walk down in this area. Unfortunately, I don't think there's anything that you can actually find down here, so I'm not sure what the purpose is. Nothing. Maybe if you got that box out of the way, there might be something behind it, but I don't see it, so I'm not going to bother trying. So, head out this way, and there's a door down here, and flip the switch, and this pathway here that just raised up will take you all the way back, will take you back to the first room that you were in, and you can get back on the boat, change your party members, and rest. You gotta do that if you don't have Momo in your party, because from this point on, you gotta have Momo in the party. Head up the stairs. And that ID card we picked up is going to come in use in this... Oh, well, no. Never mind. I screwed that up. A little later on, we're going to use the ID card. Sleepy. Skip that bow. 
Got some rooms here. Beds you can't sleep in. Ammonia, okay. More beds you can't sleep in. Boost counter. Oh, look a treasure. Hmm, nice haul. Now, yeah, now, here's where you use the card. Yeah, why not? Now, you can go out here if you want. There's not anything to see or do out here. Just an outside part of the ship. So I might as well just go back in. Head up the s oh damn it. <laughs> Always with the battles. More of these guys, so forget it. Here's the bridge. That's why you need Momo. Ooh, remember that? Boost counter? Okay. Ready! Okay, yeah, I need to run all the way back. Don't worry, you will not get in any battles during this time. But you are going to have to keep track of how much time you're taking while moving back from the boost counter room. Not so much when you're getting there, because you're going to have more than enough time. But you do have to time it correctly on the way back. Now you're going to head down in here and read the, read the panel. You see it took 20 seconds to get down here. Now you're going to have to sit there and watch and wait until that thing gets to about... Uh, 70 or 80, since it takes 20 seconds to get there, choose 70, that way you get an extra 10 seconds to stand around. And I skipped it ahead so you wouldn't see the thing counting the whole time. Now once this thing hits 70, I'm gonna run back. 70. Now you hear the dinging going on in the background? That is what you're gonna use, like, uh, keeping track of the time. Each thing is corresponding to one count, one second one uh, increment of the count there, you know. So you just count those to keep track of how much time has passed. Now by the time I get there, it's going to be like an additional 10 seconds. I'm going to have to stand around and not talk to Momo until it actually gets to 100. Okay, should be getting pretty close. There we go. Do we have it? Yes, we have it. Okay, we're releasing Zig to take the ship back.
You know, you should probably bring some food with you. Who knows how long this boat's going to take to get to the other side of the ocean. Okay, everybody's on board, and we are good to go. Well, at least we know we're heading the right way. Obscure the ship with that, apparently. Oh, wait, hold on. Did that beam change directions as the ship changed? That doesn't make any sense. Don't you know what that was already? Okay. They're going to be on a long journey back to the other side of the ocean on board the black ship. And it's going to take a little too long, so I'm going to end this episode. So tune in for the next one. And we will continue our trip to find God.